Good afternoon. We're here with April Bennett. She's here to talk about grilling safety. You know, you're here with Cornell Cooperative Extension. Yes. This is all coming up in kind of in connection with Father's Day. We've got Fourth right. of July it's coming finally up. grilling season. Yes, grilling season, mm -hmm. and you have some tips, yes. some important tips too, because. Grilling, while it is fun and can be easy, there's a lot of room for error in there yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely encourage people to get out and grill. It is a very healthy way to cook. It uh, it's, it's doesn't add any extra fat. In fact, a lot of the fat can drip out of the meats, mm -hmm. unlike other cooking methods. It tastes so good, It too. locks in the vitamins. It tastes really good. It's great to be able to be outside. Um, but we want to make sure that everyone is safe. Mm -hmm. So yes, we hope everyone's going to get out and grill during this beautiful weather. But you want to make sure that you know you're doing things like keeping your grill away from your house, off of the porch. You want to only ever grill whether it's charcoal or propane outdoors. Definitely, we both know well people that have burnt the siding yes. in their houses yes. from having the grill a little bit too close. Absolutely, you want to make sure that you always turn off. If you have a gas grill, turn it off when you're done, um, so that you don't have any leaks. Always watch out for children and pets. Make sure that they are, um, are not going to be around the grill and never leave it unattended. And keep all of your supplies out of reach of children. And the one, I learned this the hard way, always make sure you have the lid up before you light your grill. Yeah. <laughs> So we don't want to see any extra accidents this weekend. We want people to enjoy the grilling season, but we also want to make sure they're not only practicing good grilling safety, but also good food safety too. So mm -hmm. sometimes we tend to get a little lax, I think, when we think about eating outside or picnics, but all of our same food safety rules still apply. So, you know, if you're grilling meat, you want to make sure that you're properly defrosting it and that you're cooking it up to temperature. We always recommend using a meat thermometer to make sure all of your meat is up to temperature. I think you guys put, uh, we have a website for anyone who has questions about properly cooking meats on the grill. And if you haven't tried grilling other things other than meat, like fruits and vegetables, definitely give it a try. I love grilled vegetables. Me too. Grilled romaine yeah. especially, so good. And, and the fruit, you would be so surprised how different oh, fruit like tastes pineapple? on the grill. Yes. Yeah, like pineapple, peaches, um, it caramelizes the natural sugars, so it has a really different flavor and it brings out the sweetness. So it's a great summer dessert. It's just to throw some fruit on the grill or I even like to put it in salads. Yeah. So you can actually cook your whole meal out on the grill less to clean up just be safe on the front side make sure you wash everything properly beforehand and yeah. you should have a good time and exactly. less mess. And what about clean up afterwards or like in between grilling? Yeah absolutely so if you're gonna grill meat and fruits or vegetables or produce it's best to use separate cutting boards because you don't want to have any cross contamination mm -hmm. between the, um, the the liquids from the meat running onto your uh, fruits or vegetables so uh, we recommend using separate cutting boards Make sure that you're keeping things hot, things hot, and cold things cold. So, you know, when your meal is over, make sure you're properly storing things and don't let things sit out too long. Right. A lot of times when we're having summer get togethers, you know, we like to put out the outdoor buffet and we may have things with mayonnaise and things like that in them. And nothing should ever sit out longer than two hours um, when you're, you're in that danger zone of between 40 and 140 degrees that's where bacteria loves to grow yeah. and spread set we a can't timer see it. right especially yeah. when it's hot out too you don't want it getting bad absolutely and all so icky like that put it that. out enjoy it and then put it away yes. if you want to get it back out later get it back out later but don't let things sit outside exactly well a lot of great tips thank you so much for joining us this afternoon thanks happy grilling we'll be right back